All right, well, we're here with uh, franchise owner David Sakura. And David, uh, thank you for allowing us to have this tour. Jessica just gave me a wonderful tour uh, back in the kitchen there and uh, saw how all your products are prepped. And she gave us a little history of uh, the company. Uh, I want to know how did you become involved and decide to become a, a franchise owner of Chick-fil-A? Well, thanks for the question, Ken, and it's truly our pleasure to, to have you all here this afternoon. Um, I had a, a couple of mutual friends who have uh, stores across the country, and the more I talked to them and found out about their life and what it meant on on the implications of their future on how to raise a family, it, it really aligned and spoke to my wife and I on what we wanted in the next decade or two for for our lives and for our family and so the the model aligned with where we wanted to be and what we wanted to do and uh, we've heard today uh, from Jessica and just in general when I've heard about Chick-fil-A that is very family oriented and obviously uh, it uh, pertains to you as you well your your wife and your kids and I don't know if your kids are old enough to participate are they well uh, our oldest Roman is, is three years old and <laughs> from time to time you will see him serving guests through our drive through usually with a wave and saying thank you for the business but he he quite enjoys greeting our customers on a daily basis and speaking of family um, beyond just the restaurant here serving of the food as good as it is, is what Chick-fil-A is known for is giving back to the community, uh, their fundraisers and their all their community involvements, right? Yeah, absolutely. So I, I consider the, the, the customers and our employees an extension of, of my own family here in Laguna Hills. Since we've opened, we've, uh, we've had days where we fed every member of uh, Saddleback Memorial Hospital. We've uh, sponsored a, a breast cancer awareness one, a month, uh, our, our day where we donated a portion of the sales back to the hospital. Uh, we've done fundraising events in Laguna Woods for Stretch Your Dollar and some of the activities that we do here in the store to be a part of the community include uh, free senior coffee. We do a senior bingo every Monday morning at 9 o'clock just recognizing that a lot of our clients appreciate more than just coming to have a bite to eat. They appreciate um, activities and involvement. Yeah, and that is uh, something that I think whenever Chick-fil-A comes into the community, the uh, uh, what they do is they really involve themselves. It's absolutely uh, wonderful. And um, you were also telling me that uh, you, you own this one single unit and uh, that the company may allow you one day to own another one, but this isn't like uh, other companies where you'll have somebody just own dozens of them within a region. Uh, Chick-fil-A wants their franchise owner to be really dedicated to the community and therefore stick to one or two franchises. Yeah, the, the most that you'll you'll see a typical franchisee uh, have as a number of restaurants is two. And in fact, that's only 10% of the operators that have two stores. Uh, and the involvement that they want in the store is is something that they, they put a, a heavy emphasis on. So um, in most any Chick-fil-A across the country, chances are you're, you're going to meet the owner operator in the store any given day of the week because uh, we're involved with with one location instead of you know a half dozen or a dozen or so that we're spreading ourselves across. Well thank you again for bringing us in. Uh, thanks to uh, Jessica for the wonderful tour Absolutely. and uh, I'm about ready to uh, sample some food. How about it? Absolutely. It'd be our treat. All right so I'm gonna try one of their sandwiches. You know in fact I've tried them several times before. I really like the breakfast biscuit myself the best because having having a chicken for breakfast it, it may sound a little strange in this area, but believe me, folks, it's very popular in the South where Chick-fil-A comes from, and that's my favorite time to have it, believe it or not. Great. All right, so uh, I'll give it a try and uh, be back with you in just a minute. I'll get a boy. Mm. You want me to? Sh shake? Down? Speak. Well, folks, after that wonderful tour that Jessica gave me and learning all about Chick-fil-A and their community involvement from David, I'm ready for my meal. And I got some waffle cut fries and 
as I asked for before. They hooked me up here with one of their spicy chicken sandwiches and uh, some of their wonderful sauce. You know, Chick-fil-A, this location, they're open 6.30 in the morning. We talked about how uh, they have wonderful uh, their chicken breakfast sandwiches. You can drive through or come on in. They're open 10 o'clock at night. They are closed on Sundays. You know, uh, they like to give back to their employees as well. So their employees get a weekend day off, and I think that's great. So come on by Chick-fil-A. Again, they're right across from Laguna Hills Mall, easy to find, and enjoy some great food. Now, it's my turn to enjoy it. Thank you.